is we kept on pushing that date further and further back on owning our investment properties. And that was probably one of the biggest mistakes that we made early on you know, in our marriage because we thought that we had to wait on investment properties until we can free up some money to get another home. What's up, you guys? What's up? Have you ever found yourself just looking around and wondering why you have not got into the real estate game yet? Well, in this video right here, I want to share with you guys some of my personal secrets that I use to get into the real estate game and something that you can do right now with zero money invested into getting started with your first investment property. Now, I know you guys probably heard of things like Airbnb, HomeAway, and there's a couple other great sites out there where you can actually make money off of your home. And you've probably seen other people running around YouTube or maybe they're friends or colleagues of yours that own multiple properties and you're probably thinking to yourself like my god they gotta be so blessed they're so lucky that they have all this property man I wish that if I could just work another job or if things just aligned and maybe one day someday you know I'll have a rental property well one of the things that my wife did um, it wasn't that we didn't have enough money it wasn't that we didn't have the right credit score you know we just really wanted to pay off our own home and we were doubling and tripling down on a mortgage because we wanted to get our home paid off first so we can say yes we're homeowners but one thing that we realized is we kept on pushing that date further and further back on owning our investment properties. And that was probably one of the biggest mistakes that we made early on you know, in our marriage because we thought that we had to wait on investment properties until we can free up some money to get another home. Well, what I learned was there's a little secret that you can do to get your foot in a real estate game without having any capital, without having any funds to put down on your first home. And I want to share that with you guys in this video. But let me give you guys this disclaimer first. Never, ever, ever go into a business or make an investment thinking that you're just going to forever never use any money at all because money is what makes things work. Sometimes, some folks, they do everything in life right, but you just make enough to get by. You're, you're just barely over paycheck to paycheck. Um, maybe you have money in your credit cards, maybe not. But here's the thing I tell people who I coach, especially when it comes to real estate, Never use your own money when it comes to investments. Never use your own money when it comes to buying businesses. So in this video, we're going to talk about getting your own real estate. You know, start off with your first door and eventually you're going to have five, six, ten. You know, you got multiple doors and you're going to use this strategy right here. And this is called the Burr strategy. Now, I deal with foreclosed homes. Now, this is where you actually go to auctions, you bid on homes that you want, and then when you win the bidding, you get a home for pennies on the dollar. But what if you don't have the money, you don't have the cash on hand to bid on these homes? What are you supposed to do? Well, I go through what's called a hard money lender. Now, hard money lenders, what they basically are, they're people who have money. Sometimes they're retired and they have a bunch of money in their savings and they want to grow it. Um, sometimes you have other private lenders or companies that are willing to upfront cash for you so you can take that money and invest into the home. Now, a lot of hard money lenders will tell you that they will not give you money for an auction home because there's a lot of variable, right? Because a lot of them go off simple data. They go off math. Um, there's something that's called the ARV. That's the after rehab value. And they give you probably up to about 60 to 65% of that for some lenders. And some lenders are gonna wanna know, do you have any skin in the game? But if you do your research, like I have, I actually found lenders where as long as you have a pretty decent credit score, like you're in the upper sixes, they will actually give you money to go ahead and take to the bidding wars for those foreclosed auction homes. And then once you win the home, then all you're gonna do is you're going to rehab the home. So that's part of the Burr strategy, right? You buy, you rehab, you rent, and then you refi, right? So basically what you're doing is you're buying a foreclosed home, and then you're gonna rehab it. Whether if you're doing the work or you got extra money from that hard money lender and you're hiring contractors to come and rehab the, the home to get it up to specs so it can be rentable. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna refinance that home. You refinance that home so you can pay off that hard money lender and then you get some money in your pocket and now you're able to get renters in there and now you got money in your pocket for the next door that you wanna buy and then you got a renter in there where now you got an income coming in from your renter and now everybody is happy. You know, and this is one of the best strategies for someone who doesn't have any money to throw in there but you have to put skin in the game. You cannot be afraid of a little bit of interest because trust and believe me when I say this, you will never come out of pocket more interest than you do on the income you're going to gain from your home investment and from that refinance that you did. You have to do your homework. 
So when you do your foreclosed auction homes, make sure you check out my YouTube channel and watch the channel where I talk about how you can actually get into the game of the foreclosed homes and, and not buy a home with liens. You don't want to buy any homes with any kind of you know hidden secrets and there's a reason why no one wants that home in the first place. You want to make sure that the title is clear and free. You want to get in there and bid on a home that you know if you rehab that home, you know that you're going to get a ton of value off of it. You can buy homes for as cheap as $10,000 in some states. You can do bidding wars in any state that you want to. But again, I got other videos where I talk about how to find the right home and how to get you know get your real estate game going. But the real estate game is real. You can come in there with literally no money in your pockets. You're just using OPM, which stands for other people's money. And trust and believe me, once you get that momentum going, you are going to be a real estate beast. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this video. And as always, please, please, please leave a comment below. If you guys have any great tips that you want to share with the community, if you got anything that you guys want to ask, please do it. And I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Anyways, have a great day and good luck with your investing life. See you later. Peace.